So I created the book club mainly to solve two problems. The first one is egotistical. I felt like that I was not having enough deep, meaningful, long, philosophical conversations in my life with thoughtful and open-minded people. So I wanted to create a space where I can just have these conversations because they're fun. The second problem was I felt like it's becoming harder and harder in our society to have conversations with people you disagree with. Everything is so polarized right now. Not everything, but there are topics that are very polarized right now. Political topic, societal topic, cultural topics, that the conversations happen in silos. Right? All the people who agree with this talk amongst each other and then all the people who agree with this opposite view they all talk amongst each other and then when they kind of get in contact they scream at each other and call each other names and and i think that that's not productive and i think that it's really important to be able to have a conversation not a debate a conversation a civil discussion with someone you disagree with whether that's on vaccines whether that's on abortions whether that's on gender whether that's on billionaires buying social media platforms, whether that's on COVID, whether that's on any political or, you know, social issue. And so I wanted to create the space where, where, where that is the culture, where it's not like you can have any opinion you want and no one cares. No, you, you need to justify your opinion that you have. You better have this thought through and have some good arguments for it. But to be able to engage with someone who is on the opposite end of it and try to understand where they're coming from and they're trying to understand where you're coming from. Why do you, be, do you believe what you believe? What have you looked at? What sources have you read? Why do you believe, what have you seen that confirms this, you know, and just talk. And that was one of the main issues I wanted to solve. And so I think we're on the path of that. We had a discussion on vaccines you know, a couple months back where we had people who were for the vaccines and people who were against the vaccine. And we talked for two hours and everyone was able to share their perspective and no one got screamed at or ostracized or called names. You know, we had a discussion on are billionaires good for society or not? And we had people who were saying that they are and people who said that there shouldn't be people who, who have billions of dollars of net worth. And again, we had a civil conversation. Um, we had a conversation on, uh, you know, gender and feminism and, and masculinity. And, you know, where, where does this whole thing end? You know, and same thing. We have women in the discussion and men in the discussion, people who were landing on that side of the issue, people who were landing on that side of the issue. But it was a civil conversation and everyone learned more at the end of it. Um, so that's the problem I wanted to solve. How do we solve it? I mean, we're... A discord server a discord channel right if you don't know what that is look it up um, it's kind of like a slack channel so we're roughly 20 people in there um and there's two main features of kind of how we how we do this one is text channel so that we have different channels on different topics there's the text channel on philosophy one on history one on science one on finance one on art one on uh one on what other ones do we have? Literature, all kinds of different topics and people, you know, message in there, right? You can, people ask questions, people write down their thoughts and beliefs and ideas, and then people respond to them. You can share a podcast or a movie, something that you learned about that issue that you want to share with people. That's one. And then the other one is our live conversations where we actually meet online on a, on a video call and we hang out and we talk about these things. Um, and we currently do this roughly once a week where we just hang out. Sometimes we're three people, sometimes we're eight or nine people on the same call talking about whatever is currently interesting. We talked about the Ukraine, Russia war. We talked about, you know, whatever's currently interesting to people. We have book discussions. You know, we discuss meditations by Marcus Aurelius. We discuss wealth of nations by Adam Smith. We discuss an anarchist handbook by Michael Malice. We all kinds of different books. Um, we currently have one coming up on the original Bitcoin white paper. So we have topical discussions. Sometimes we have interviews. We interviewed Brian Kaplan 
uh, who is a New York Times bestselling author in the in the book club, which is which was our first uh, interview, and we already have one other one coming up. So it's a mix of kind of things, and and you know we we chat live, and I think that's the best way. You see people's face. Everyone has to use their real life name in the in the Discord. So there's no hiding behind a username and being able to be toxic. And uh, and yeah, we're we're quite a interesting mix of people. Uh, you know, the youngest member is I think 15 or 16 years old. The oldest is in their 40s. Uh, teachers and entrepreneurs and consultants and and students and high school uh, students. You know, all people from from all kinds of walks of life and with people from the US and Germany and Poland and Turkey and Czech Republic and Pakistan and India and we have a person from China. So it's always, you know, I always learn a lot from these conversations because it's one thing to read about them and watch some videos and do this and do that. But it's another thing to talk it out in person, seeing that other person's face um, who might have a completely different perspective on this because they're 10 years older or 10 years younger or from a completely different country all across the you know continent from you and they have seen heard different things and and so um yeah that's the that's the main thing so book club is kind of like a asterisk because you know books are part of this but we discuss it's really like a discussion club um you know because we discuss books and the ideas in them but we also discuss all kinds of other things that don't have to necessarily relate it to books. Um, but I think the open-minded one is the, is the biggest one. It's just the rule number one of the book club is always assume you might be wrong. Um, and I think that kind of summarizes the kind of culture that we're trying to build, which is you might have opinions and beliefs, and you might even have strong opinions and strong beliefs because you've spent time looking into this issue and all of that, and you made your thoughtful uh, conclusion. But realizing that there might always be perspective that you're missing or a nuance that you haven't thought of or a you know idea or fact that you weren't aware of and just the only way to get out of that is to talk with people and especially to talk with people you disagree with because you if you only ever talk with people you agree with with people who land on the same side of this issue then you're just amplifying just amplifying of course you're not gonna of course you're gonna believe that this is the one truth the one true only position that someone can hold because that's your world that you live in right it's you don't ever talk with someone and so that's what i want to do with this book club and i think so far we're we're on the path of of that you know we're i created this only a couple months ago so it's constantly shifting people are given input sharing their opinion and we added new rules we took out rules we changed the cadence of our meetings, the topics, people can suggest things, right? Like the Bitcoin thing was a suggestion of someone who said, hey, I've heard about this whole crypto stuff, but I'm not aware of it. Is someone interested in discussing the original Bitcoin white paper? And now on Sunday, you know, we have 12 people interested in this this discussion and we're going to see what comes from that. But I think learning and having an open mind and, and talking with people you disagree with is uh, that's one of the main things that, that we're trying to do here.